So Hannah and I just literally released these awesome fabric collage X satin stitch embroidery kits. They're DIY kits and we've put together this video to commemorate the occasion. End of November I flew to Oregon to do this thing and we filmed some of it. So I'm just kind of gonna walk you through behind the scenes of this collab. That's it, let's go. So after about a month of occasional chatting online, just kind of back and forth going through the ideas, we've sort of settled on creating a DIY kit. A DIY embroidery kit which would incorporate both of our artistic styles, aka satin stitch on my side and fabric collage on Hannah's side. And since a secondary reason of art making in a life of an artist is to make a living, we decided that we would release a limited amount of these kits so that other makers can recreate our work and put their own spin on it. And basically that's the idea. So to make this collab happen, I had to hop on the short flight, short flight to Oregon. I actually arrived only with a digital kind of design pattern in hand. I did not have time to stitch anything and we we're just gonna figure it all out on the spot. But the first thing on our agenda was to actually go meet Natalie. She's a bit camera shy, but we got her permission to use some of the footage. So here we go. So we're surprising Natalie. Natalie is our mutual friend. She's wonderful. She's like one of the best humans ever. Yeah. She basically reached out to both of us online and created friendships with both of us. And then we found out that we had mutual friendships with her. And we haven't been vocal about Vika coming to visit because we didn't want Natalie to find out and we're gonna go surprise her. <laughs> Natalie actually ended up helping us a whole ton throughout the full process. So the next day, all three of us went straight to work by picking up some fabrics for the collage part of our art piece. And that was the beginning of the journey with it really, which ended up being a lot of work as well as a lot of fun. We're at Jean Marie's and we're picking out fabric. I figured I should document this. These are some of the fabrics we've picked out so far. I'm really excited to show you what we're working on. Vika's getting the full experience of a fabric store. Yay. I think she's slowly falling in love. It's working. <laughs> and as I mentioned, I didn't actually do my homework. I didn't stitch anything until I actually got there. Got a little, a little bit busy, okay? We had to use my digital mocha to figure out the layers that we would use for the fabric collage part of it. There was a lot of imagining, imagining? Is that the word? There was a lot of imagining going on at that moment, which is no hard job for Hannah as it turned out. We did have a lot of fun trying to figure out all those layers. I pretended that I knew what the hell I was doing and Hannah did all the work, so it worked out for me pretty well. And then I just spent the whole evening stitching this freaking mountain because it had to be done. And it was no easy, like it was no quick, no easy. I had to work for many, many hours in the night to actually get it done. But even that wasn't enough because I couldn't actually finish. Like I went to bed, I think at 3 a.m. It wasn't done, so I had to finish it in the morning. While I was stitching that morning, Hannah and Nat prepped some fabrics and cut them to size for those beautiful kits we were gonna release. And once the stitching was done, we then could finally put the whole thing together. Kind of. I, it took a few attempts. As with all art forms, there was a lot of tweaking involved. We played around with layers and fabrics and swapped some layers and swapped some fabrics and cut differently and layered differently until we pretty much just were a little bit happy with what it was kind of becoming. That same evening, Hannah was working really hard on our final design, which we would finally introduce to the public on socials. So we're just like stitching and bitching in here with Hannah. And she's <laughs> doing a single strand. And what did you just say? I'm like Vika. Look, I'm doing Vika style. Single <laughs> strand, one strand at a time. And I'm so terrible at it, but I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you know that song? That's the sound. That's the clip. Success. The next day, we cut some more fabric and put together more stuff for kids. We actually ended up sourcing over a thousand of skeins of embroidery floss for this project, if you can believe us. There was floss everywhere in the house. But it wasn't actually all work and no play. Hannah did a really good job introducing me to some iconic landmarks in the life of an embroidery artist, such as, um, well, let me, let me just show you. 
So I'm taking Vika to all the important spots of an artist maker's life. So we are hitting at Michael's today. It is now time for Joanne! Okay, we're gonna play this game with you. So you can pick some colors and then show me the color and I will try and guess. So you can find it? Yeah. Turn yeah. Okay, so this looks like 816. Was it? Yeah, you got it. Okay, so this is 742 or 744 or 745. Or? Or 743. <laughs> oh, the pink one. Mm. Is it one of the three, eight, six, one, something like that? Three. Is it three, three? Mm -hmm. No, three, eight. Mm -hmm. No. Is it the four number one? Mm -hmm. You got the three, three right. six. Three six one eight. Ooh, close. Three six. Uh, I don't know. Here this up. one's three six zero eight. Ah, it's zero really eight. close though. Okay. Uh, is that three twelve? Which one? The, the blue. The no, blue. no. I uh, purposely grabbed three, it. Three three six. No, that's too dark. Is it? No. Oh, uh, eight two four. Close. No. Okay. No, I give up. Eight oh three. Eight oh three. Oh, I never used that color. That's really hard. I tried to pick a color you don't use. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen you use this color. I don't color. know. Is it one of the fives? It's a five. It's a five. I should know that. I'm not even close. Five. I'm terrible with this. Okay, so five, six, one. Close. Oh, it's a five, six, two. Yes. <gasps> That's really cool. That's, this is. It is safe to say that I spent a lot of money at Michael's and Joanne's. And also I did actually have to buy a second set of luggage to bring with me back home. So with only a couple of days left on my trip, it was finally time for me to experience the glorious Pacific Northwest. We headed out to Portland and of course took the scenic route. For me personally, it was a dream come true. The word of the day was definitely wow. And as we drove those windy roads along the stunning Oregon coast, stopping at small towns and taking in the scenery and all of that to the best soundtrack of my life, AKA Twilight Saga soundtrack, which do not judge me. It is a beautiful soundtrack and a beautiful movie. You can't, you just can't beat that. You can't beat that. It's honestly a dream come true. already dark when we arrived in Portland. Dark in more ways than just one. So that's, that's something. Is that a bad omen? I mean, I'm supposed to. <laughs> I feel bad for laughing, but this is crazy. And the next day was also super fun as we spent some time in the city and met some fantastic people we adore. We're doing all of that, yeah! <laughs> oh, and I saw Mount Hood for the first time from afar, but it kind of still counts. It was, it was not that kind of trip. Next time I visit, I'm definitely gonna go. Maybe climb it, maybe not. Actually, maybe, definitely not gonna climb it. It's snowing on Vika's last day. She's taking a lot of the U.S. with her. <laughs> really heavy. So heavy. That's okay though. <laughs> she wouldn't let me help. She wants to be able to do it all on her own because I'm not going to be able to help in the airport. <laughs> oh, that's right. We parked a different spot. And the next day I was flying back home away from the snow and from the giant trees of the Pacific Northwest. Sure do miss it already. What a trip, like what an experience. So yeah, it was it. I wish we'd filmed some more. I feel like I thought we did, 
but turns out we really didn't. It's really tough to figure out, but I'm happy about this collab. Um, Hannah and I are both happy, extremely happy. Thank you for your support. A super awesome experience. We really want to do it again already. So here is our final piece of art. Uh, it's, it's really cool. I really love it. And I think I'm gonna try and interview Hannah at some point. I got to know her a little bit and she's a super awesome maker, super awesome person. But thank you for supporting us. Thank you for supporting all artists. It is so greatly appreciated. You, you probably don't even know how much it is appreciated. We love you guys. We hope you enjoy the kit. If you bought one, if you didn't, maybe next time. Oh, I mean, I... Ta-da! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>